First of all, that was insane. Second of all, Nikki wants to do a challenge. Um, hey guys, what's going on? Mickey and Nick here. Um, today, we're meeting up for a two-on-two -two double challenge with two of Nick's friends. Now, we are headed over to see Jeff Logan and his wife Nikki Eaton. I've known Jeff since we were at the Central Connecticut together. We met when we were about 19. The first time I ever met Jeff, he was benching 225 for about 42 reps. We ended up becoming good friends and uh, it's the past 11 years. Actually, his wife Nikki saw when we went to Blind Pig Pizza in Hartford and did the 12 pound pizza taco challenge. And Jeff contacted me and said, Hey, first of all, that was insane. Second of all, Nikki wants to do a challenge. Um, I thought he was kidding, but you know, we went back and forth and we decided that we'd come out to LA and figure out a team challenge we could all do. We've got two professional competitive eaters, two normal people, and two massive challenges. We'll probably go two on two, like, uh, we might have one of us team up with one of them and, and go ahead to, to make it a little bit more even. We'll figure that out when we get, we'll <laughs> get there. Uh. Let's go. Oh, this is like a bad joke right now. We have a little pizza slice counter going for each person to show how the 36 inch challenge kind of broke down. Uh, keep in mind, these are best estimates because the slices are different in size and also each of us stopped eating bread and crust for a while. Those numbers are moving up fast now. They'll slow down as we're all kind of catching up on eating our bread later on. But we really just wanted to show that Nikki and Jeff, for being non-competitive eaters, totally held their own. So this is a pretty accurate breakdown of how they did over the course of the challenge. You'll notice right here I fold the pizza kind of over itself. It looks really weird, but after you do a handful of pizza challenges, you definitely learn that if you fold it on itself, it retains heat. And by the time you get to the end of it, the cheese and the crust are a little bit easier to eat if it uh, maintains some form of warmth.
I'm thinking the exact same thing. Maybe not no pants, but my pants have zero stretch to them, which is a huge mistake when you're doing a challenge this big. Nick and I hadn't expected to eat this much. We had planned on doing a much smaller challenge. Um, anyway, uh, props to Nikki for rocking this long sleeve full body suit because we're eating outdoors. It's 88 degrees on this day and this girl was, this poor girl was burning up and she was such a good sport through the whole thing. I don't really have the heart to tell Nikki, but I'm not really worried about time. I'm more concerned about space. We're gonna copy strategy. Stronger there. Because now it looks like we're almost done, and we ain't nowhere near to get done. Yeah, I kind of like. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 So here you'll see me kind of react with a little bit of shock to Jeff unfolding the pizza. <laughs> Jeff thought it looked stupid uh, when we folded it over, so uh, it all uh, hopefully works out in the end. Yeah, bro. No, I'm not done. I'm taking a break. <laughs> Going into this challenge, uh, admittedly I was a little nervous having Jeff on my team. When Jeff and I first met each other at Central, we were both really broke and I would watch Jeff eat hardly a burrito at a time in the dining hall. So knowing that his appetite isn't the largest, I was definitely a little bit nervous having him on my team, but uh, I knew we'd been dieting for a while too, so I was kind of hoping that appetite was going to bounce back a little when you put some delicious pizza in front of him. Jeff and Nick are talking about maybe the mushroom slices being easier to eat. They have half mushroom, half green pepper. I don't remember what the rules are for this challenge at this point, but Nikki and I have pepperoni, mushrooms, olives, and green bell peppers. I think we decided to go with a variety to avoid flavor fatigue, or I was just being indecisive. Lucky for us, it's really good. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah, it's it's soft, it's really hard. I like that the crust is like in between. It's good. Well, it's because, because it's, it's all natural stuff. Like, oh, it's, it's not like there's no preservatives in anything. Makes it feel better. Mm. So this is the best pizza that we could have done for the baby. Mm -hmm. One of the baby. Keep that in mind. Perfect. Following after Nick. Mm -hmm. Nick's just going like he's still. I'm, I'm, this is not breaking here. Mm -hmm. 
sweater. Are y'all feeling good? No. You're doing really well, though. Thank you. No, not me. Oh. You too. Okay. on this challenge we had originally planned on doing a uh, pasta and meatballs challenge that was much smaller than this so we definitely weren't prepared going into this we were super fortunate though um the team at big mama's and papa's was able to accommodate us uh, on no notice with these two giant challenges so that was super appreciated um but again with that being said we were kind of prepared for a, a middle of the road or easy challenge to do with jeff and nikki oh, yeah, we have tons of respect for what y'all do <laughs> um, so walking into here, Miki and I kind of knew uh, we had our work cut out for us. Luckily, we brought our appetites that day and uh, really didn't want to lose. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god! What did you just say? Oh my god! I'm done with chewing and, and oh salty and uh, crunchy things. Ice cream sounds really good now. Mm-hmm. Just no about finished, man. <laughs> Almost. This champ over here, you think it's all down. But they eat this whole pizza by itself. Oh my god. Boom! <laughs>